Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the channel. This is Alfred. Today we'll be talking about or continue our project. And today we'll actually be talking about error handling. All right, so we are here. Let's go ahead and do a fetch just to make sure we are in sync with our repo. Looks good. Zero outgoing, zero incoming. So let me go ahead and increase this. So as you can see, if, if you watched the last series, you could see that we have a fully functional application, an application that can take in the real scheme of 10. It probably don't do too much, but relatively will represent some of the application that one will build. So as you can see, we could add all sorts of names that we need. We could do A, big A, and uh, we can have it all here and we could delete maybe this a and we could delete two of the alfred here and then uh, we could save our files and it will save it to our desktop with the name text file we could change the um, name of the file to save to let's say v number three we could save it and it saves it to the tech desktop file which is perfect. We could change this Fred from Fred to Big A, whatever number, we, whatever name we have here, we can change that and it changes to Big A. We could change that to Alfred and, and it changes it to Alfred. So that's pretty much everything we have. But there's something that we should probably um, do in terms of um, this application and that will be error handling. So in WPF, we will go ahead and do it the super super easy way in wpf there's something called the global error handling which is essentially like a a dispatch a dispatcher for unhandled exception so you could just do that and not worry about anything so you don't have to worry about um adding a try catch loop here um you don't have to do worry about that here either you don't have to worry about that here either i, I know i know i know you you might decide to do that. So now let's go to our app XAML. Now here we go. This is where we want to add the global dispatcher. All right. And now we can go to the code definition and add how we want our code or how we want our error to be handled. So for now, we'll just keep it simple and display it in a message box. And let me go ahead and remove the system.windows and the forms. We'll just have message box that show. And let's go ahead and, you know, just type in unhandled exceptions now we'll go ahead and add some information here e dot exception dot message so we can do our message on and our source and i like to do both message and source only environment I'm going to do this on a new a new line. All right, so we want to add the e dot exception dot source. All right. So now when we have like a cut before we do that, we want to add cancelled e dot handled is equals to true oh yeah i think i know let's go ahead and assess let's go ahead and assess an index in our model Let's assess an index that we know for sure we don't have. So let's go ahead and do first model uh, in the delete. Let's do first 
post model dot let's go ahead and access 1000 index all right this should hopefully break the code all right so now because we're still in the debug you know let's go ahead and change this to um, release then run it all right so let's go ahead and do delete all right here we go so on this is the error handling how it handled it instead of crashing the application we gracefully handled it this is the message and uh, on handled exception index was and this is our if you do you remember this on handled exception that will be here let's go to code definition that will be here uh, let's change this to on handled exception from project just so you can see that you can see that that's truly our global exception handling working see from project so we are gracefully handling all the errors that we we, we as a user we could um, cause for the program so before we continue let me go ahead and remove this code this is a, dang a dangerous code so so yeah so that's pretty much it so this we have we have showed a global handling of error and that's we didn't even have to add it to our code we added it to the application class of the windows which is here if you go to go to definition that's the application class of of, of windows and uh, that will handle all our all our errors so and again let me just go ahead and recap what the pro what the um, project does let's stop debugging let's go back to debug a, a little bit of a recap what the project does you know we started with from nothing started with a concept that looked like this and uh, we were able to arrive to a fully functional application that um, we used a few a few different um, controls we use a user control we could uh, which is this uh, we use um, deleting uh, from list um, observable collection data binding and um, a whole lot of other functionalities that we added to this application so i hope this was um, useful let me know if you enjoyed this in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you later bye bye